National Geographic. This is Meet the World's Ugliest Monkey. You know, when they say survival of the fittest, it's more like survival of if it works, it works. Because they didn't mean fit as in abs, arms, and selling supplements on Instagram. No, they mean fit as in like how good are you at staying alive long enough to make more of yourself. For example, you won't see a turtle with a Gymshark sponsorship, hmm. yet a mobile boulder has been running the same playbook for a good 200 million years. And it's on islands where evolution really goes off one. You see, the thing is, because islands have more of a cap on how many people can be alive at once, islands have more specialist species than generalists. It's kind of like the job market. The more competitive it gets, the more DMs you get from people pushing Forex or overpriced underquality knives. So it makes sense for the oldest island in the world to have the most creatively questionable creatures on its roster. India divorced itself from the continent of Africa an estimated 150 million years ago, and then proceeded Jeez. to lose custody of its love child about 60 million years after that, and Madagascar has been on its own ever since meaning its residents have had nearly 90 million laps around the sun of character development to figure life out. Which is how we ended up with the ugliest monkey in the world. Matter of fact, the first time scientists saw it, they legitimately thought it was a squirrel nature tried redrawing strictly from memory. It wasn't until about 100 years later that scientists realized that the I.I. is actually a primate, meaning this dehydrated gremlin is closer to you than to any squirrel. Although it's not a monkey, like I said, it's actually a lemur. Although I don't blame them for taking one look at it and being confused. The I.I. is built like an identity crisis. It has the oh, yeah, body of a monkey, the, the ears of a bat, the bushy tail of a fox, the dental plan of a rodent, and hands that would have gotten it burnt at a stake in Salem. Even its name is more complicated than it needs to be. Most people say that the I.I.'s government came from the Malagasy phrase, I don't know. As in, they were so disgusted by a fetal golem that they didn't even want to utter its name. Imagine being so aesthetically upsetting that the people naming you decide you're not even worth an identity. Like, like the name on your wiki is pretty much, I don't know, the ugly stepchild of Madagascar. <laughs> only really makes sense once you see what it does for a living. Form is function, and the I.I. looks like animal casserole because they're specialists on steroids. Their favorite foods are the grubs that Lion King did a really good job of making actually look good. They use those huge bat ears to listen as they drum on pieces of wood. And once they hear a hollow spot, Man, they use that beaver type of bike to drill through the wood. All while using that huh, tail here, for Here's my question. How come so many animals be having these big behind ears? That is crazy. All these animals be having these big old behind ears. Huh. Yeah, I think I can name one. Actually, I can just name like five, probably. Yeah, a monkey has big ears. An elephant. The the eye eye. And what? I don't know any other big animal animals that have like big ears. I don't. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I know is the eye eye, the elephant, and the the monkey. Hell for balance, as they do this. The only three animals I know. Which they have to since the eye eye is the world's largest nocturnal primate. Which is a title that really means next to nothing since they're still small enough to have to only be active when the sun goes down and so do their chances of being put out of commission by birds of prey or the biggest off to lemur life <laughs> but being the largest means they're not the only nocturnal primates out there and arguably not even the ugliest because the tarsier oh, wow, legitimately looks like it's having movies. an internal mental health crisis but like with the i don't know form meets function and this perked out primate having the biggest eyes relative to the body size of any animal means they can take in as much light as possible this means this pocket-sized primate can hunt in total darkness while also avoiding being snatched up and turned into calories themselves, even though they look fundamentally disturbed by their own existence. Maybe that's why they pull their own plugs in captivity. I eyes don't have to factory reset themselves because there's plenty of people that'll do it for free. That's because I didn't mention the weirdest thing about them. I eyes have six fingers and one of them's three times longer than all the others. And it also happens to be their middle finger. So when this gremlin goes for groceries, it taps on trees like a Jehovah's Witness going door to door. And it's after using those never not growing teeth to invite themselves in that they use that demonic digit to scoop the grubs out. And if you've ever held an Jeez. eye's middle finger, you was both in my dream and probably thought it was broken. When in fact, that oh, wait, finger that has a ball and socket joint that essentially gives it 360 movement. Basically, it's the way you can move your wrist and your hand is the way this rehab chipmunk moves its finger. That finger is great for grabbing grubs, but also oh. for another <laughs> favorite pastime of theirs. That pa No. Yo, look at the fingers, bro. Imagine, uh, imagine comparing your head, your fingers to an animal's fingers. That is crazy, bro. Look at my fingers. They're not. They're. I mean, I know they're long, but they're not that long. My whole my hand is literally long, all because I'm growing. Yo, I'm only fifteen. I'm still growing. That's crazy. At past well, yeah, time being, you comparing cough, meaning that eyes might not choose their nose, head, but they sure as hell pick them. And that finger's long enough to pass through the nostrils and reach all the way down its throat. 
And despite the gag this video gave me that I'm gonna have to edit out, it's not painful for the eye eye, just to anyone watching. We don't really know exactly why they do this. Some scientific evidence suggests that eating it helps boost our immune system, but honestly, my search history is cursed enough. I'm really not trying to go down that rabbit hole. But you yeah, see, this no, is the kind of stuff only that. millions of years of character development in an isolated area can lead to. I mean, that's exactly how we got the ugliest frog in the world. And I know beauty's subjective, but I defy you to try and defend that. Oh. This frog has a name that sounds like I'm trying to test guidelines, and it's found only one place in the world. In the South American I mean, lake. That, I mean, that last picture doesn't like twigs. Titicaca, which it's named after. And it's because of where it lives that this frog looks like if Kermit ever snapped and went full Buffalo Bill. Lake, I'm not gonna say it again, is the world's highest elevated lake at 12,500 feet, where there can be only a third of the oxygen you'd expect at sea level. So because frogs can breathe through their skin, the frog's extra post-liposuction looking skin means extra surface area to absorb oxygen, which is what makes it the ultimate specialist, since the skin that lets it live up here would almost certainly get it packed up and put on a shirt anywhere else. Which is also why if you Google scrotum frog, two things will happen. You'll get this struggle to a mugshot, and you'll end up on the same watch list as me. Unfortunately, despite looking like a grown man's hairless undercarriage, the frog for within real. the gets deprived of life by people using it for food and medicine. I eyes also have to worry about getting turned into past tense by people, but for almost the opposite reason. You see, I was kidding with the whole gremlin thing. I, I actually think they're kind of cute. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and according yeah, to locals, true. I eyes don't behold I mean, them. Despite animals, being a lemur that literally animals. identifies as a woodpecker, locals were so terrified of it that they would murk <clears> it on sight. And here's where their biggest flex becomes a curse. Because according That's to folk tales, not me. only was this primate a harbinger of evil, if it ever pointed that freakish middle finger at you, you might as well leave the casket since it meant you'd be a was sooner than later. One myth even says that if you didn't go out of your way to sign its obituary first, the eye like, would break into your house like and remove you from life by stabbing you through the heart in your ten. sleep. Obviously, it's not even close to being true, but imagine being such an assault on the eyes that people decide that oxygen is wasted on you. It's the opposite of pretty privilege. It's like a disheveled disadvantage. And this homely handicap is a big reason why the eye eye is endangered. But another big reason is due to habitat loss. Because despite being in the same weight class as like a laptop, eye eyes are solitary and require all the space that comes with it. And while males can tolerate territory overlap, females ain't having none of that. Especially since eye eyes, like most lemurs, are female dominated. That includes ringtails, by the way. So King Julian, <coughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that. And because yes. we're really not that much different, <laughs> males are one of the most outrageous of fates for females. Even resorting to levels of erection deflection by pulling males off females while they're erection? actively mating. Which is probably why male eyes will often lock into their females in the process and they can stay stuck that way for up to an hour. This ensures that the male swimmers make it to the pool party no matter how much the competition tries to run interference. Because ultimately, like I said, eye eyes aren't that much different from us. They have two eyes, a mouth, a desire to breed, and a pair of nipples just like we all do. Except you might not notice they them because eye eye nipples aren't in the neighborhood nipples, of where you'd bro? expect them to be since eye eye nipples are closer to the groin than they are to the chest. Because that honestly makes no less sense than what? anything else about a booger eating Swiss Army finger wielding Canadian with a child what? lock orange junk. Well, not an actual child lock. That, that'd be weird. But as yeah, far that, as weird goes, it might not even weird. be the ugliest primate on the planet. I say that because the Ugly Animal Preservation Society, yes, that's a real thing, had a vote on the most aesthetically I mean, displeasing animal out there. And the I, I didn't even make the top five. You want to know who did? Yeah, <coughs> this guy right here. The mascot of if it works, then f it, it works. Cat the scientists believe that a nose big enough for its own license plate and parking spot. Bro, look at the nose. Boy, got a whole squiggered nose. That's crazy. Base is actually used to help catch a female's squiggers. attention. As in one female decided brother. she liked the way big nose is hanging. Now this monkey's entire personality is a facial flesh sack that I'm probably gonna have to censor. That might be the weirdest thing about them, but it's not the only. Cause Schnoz monkey also uses raging erections as a sign of aggression and a threat. And if you don't mm. believe me, pause this video and Google it. Oh wait, you probably won't see them in zoos, and the internet says it's because their specialized diet is too difficult to replicate. But I really think it's because no zoo wants to end up with a lawsuit it's because of proposed monkey is ugly about the, the to monkey is scar a child. You probably won't see one of these either. either. For different reasons. The snub those monkeys like the shadow clone of the proboscis. Instead of a massive flex on its face, it instead looks like it could unlock know. Voldemort's phone. These monkeys, especially the golden snub oh, have to live what with they it on its face either, but for different reasons. The snub those monkeys like the On the snub nose monkey. That don't, that don't, that don't look, it looked like somebody, it looked like a little kid is in a costume. To me, okay? I know to everybody it's a snot nosed monkey, but. You know, people be having you no know, different mindsets. They look like a kid is dressing up like a snot nosed monkey. It's like the shadow clone of the proboscis. Instead of a massive flex on its face, it instead looks like it could unlock Voldemort's phone. 
These monkeys, especially the golden snub nose, have to live in the cold mountainous forests of Asia, and it's believed that the snub nose helps prevent it from getting frostbite. And yeah, in typical evolution fashion, the monkeys with a no nose got to live long enough to pass it down, and the ones that didn't, well, you don't see them around for a reason. And like I said, in some cases, we're really no better than them, since black snub nose monkeys will actually use natural lipstick as a way to get attention. Except with them, <laughs> it's actually the guys who's looking at the valley better. <laughs> And the, the biggest and brightest lips get the best pick of partners. Red lips are one thing. One monkey managed to take wow. it even further. For so long, we didn't know why the Wakari cosplays as Red Skull with a receding hairline. Turns out, just like with the snub nose's lips and this monkey's proboscis, it's what beauty standards in nature look like. Scientists Damn. now believe that the bright red color correlates to health and reproduction. Bro, man, bro, bro, look how red the, f look how red his face is. Holy. It's what beauty standards in nature look like. Scientists now believe that the bright red color correlates to health and reproductive fitness. We know this because when a Wakari gets sick with like a malaria parasite or something, its face will get so pale it'll almost be white. So the redder in the mm. face this crimson chimp is, the healthier he looks and the more females crimson he gets chimp. to poke. But a thing with specialist species is, they usually only live in one place and they're usually also endangered. The eye is no exception. In fact, at one point we thought they straight up got discontinued back in the 1930s until we accidentally rediscovered them over 20 years later. And today there's believed to be anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 of them in stock. Which isn't great, but they're still doing better than the ugliest animals <coughs> in the world. Do you remember how I said Nosby over here was voted in the top five? Well, you want to know who was number one? It was actually the blobfish. The fish the that looks like a deflated whale fetus auditioned as a pinata. But honestly, I don't think there's an animal fish. we did dirtier than the blobfish. The streets probably didn't tell you, but this is what they're supposed to look like. It's just that their address happens to be in the bottom of the ocean. So to survive pressure that would turn any one of us into a chalk outline, the blobfish has few muscles, even fewer bones, and no swim bladder. They're basically just a pile of waterproof gelatin with eyes. And uh, you remember yeah. the whole form is function thing? Well, if the blobfish looked more like a regular fish, it would instantly flatline and have its insides forced out of its mouth. The problem is, when blobfish get caught in trawling nets and get pulled... I don't know why, but the blobfish kind of... Y'all look like I'm something crazy, but... Even looking like... Y'all know how... You be having, like... Raw chicken, or just let's say you have a raw piece of meat and then you're cutting it up. You can't tell me the blobfish look like the raw chicken y'all cook at home. Y'all can't tell me it don't look exactly like that. But like I said, people be having different mindsets, so they'll say some random things. Hold up, the same body that spent millions of years evolving to live in the crotch of the ocean basically falls apart in itself on land. So, uh, yeah, we basically memed the soul deficient corpse and called it ugly. Oh, and in dirty. their defense, if the most attractive person you know got airdropped into the blobfish's neighborhood, no amount of personality would save their face from what the water pressure would do to it. We don't know how many blobfish are left in the world, but consensus says it's something like 400. So, yeah, the blobfish definitely got screwed with the whole ugliest animal title. That mm -hmm. dishonor definitely should have gone to this thing. It's a Damascus goat, and like oh. the blobfish, evolution didn't help us at Thanks Yo. to selective breeding, we created a goat that looks almost cute as a baby, but then grows up into the steed of Satan. So basically, we pugged a goat, but these goats are <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Hold on, bring that back. Bring that back. Hold on. Baby, but then grows up into the steed. What is that? That's not no goat. That is not a goat. That is not a goat. Satan. So basically, we pugged a goat. But these goats are incredibly valued for their milk and meat. And getting a purebred one will set you back a good five thousand. I mean, goat. I like, I like goats. That, goats are this cool. one was named the but most those, beautiful goat in the world goats, in 2008. No. So I guess the moral here is, no matter how rough you might think you look, you're always going to be of value to somebody, even if you no, look like true. you took a that's steel true. chair to the chin, and even if you look like something God made on a deadline. But that's gonna do it for this video. Make sure to check out my TikTok and Instagram for more consistent content while you're waiting for the next video. And if you'd like to support this incredibly questionable content beyond just subscribing, my Patreon's also gonna be in the description. But as always, never feel like you have to give anything. That aside, make sure you drink water, hug your mother, be glad your lady poker doesn't have a child lock on it. And I'll see y'all in the next one. But hey man, W video by Casual Geographic. W video.